before we do this, let's talk about cybersecurity. <laughs> so, <laughs> the main thing is this laptop, it was locked, it was locked to Intune so that every time you try to log into the computer, even after factory defaults in it, it would say that you had to enter the old credentials for the old organization that it was a part of. You had to enter the Microsoft uh, work or school account, and it would only accept the school account for which it was locked before. The way you get around that is, I was able to take this. This is the hard drive right here, by the way. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Um, yeah. You know, it makes sense now that you're thinking about because it yeah. says the space on it. Yeah, so this was a hard drive. All, all I simply did was take this, same thing, I unscrewed this, mm -hmm. and we put that in the thing. So I pulled this out, and I just took this over to my desktop computer. I unscrewed the hard drive, and this is an M.2 is what it's called, M.2 SSD. Okay. And so I took it, and I took it over to my desktop. I unplugged the M.2 SSD in my desktop, plugged this in, and as soon as I did, it changes the hardware identifier, which is like it, it uses all the different components of the hardware, and it gives this machine a unique ID. Mm. So when you change a component, when I put it in my computer, and then on the software, it registered as a different unique identifier, and it essentially it allowed it to unlock and it allowed me to register this as a fresh copy of Microsoft Windows. So that's how I unlock different organization by simply putting this in another computer. And so for those of you, you know, this is good for cyber defenders, but also people who may have malicious intent. In order to get around Intune, as long as the drive's not encrypted, and all you have to do is just plug it into another device. Hmm. And essentially, this laptop becomes unlocked, and anybody can use it, whether you got it from an office or it was an Intune, protected or whatever. 